Yeah, David, and thank you for joining First Class Styles for our first tutorial video. Today we're doing frontal and bundles install. Very excited about my first tutorial. The hair that we're using today is going to be Rio. It is the, the Egyptian Ocean. We have a 16 inch, 13 by 5 ear to ear, and a 14, 16, 18 bundles. This is 10A grade hair. Good hair that I did purchase from our local beauty supply store. As you can see, I've already laid the lace and applied the cap. We're just going to go right into making the adjustments and customizing the lace to the client. As of right now, I'm still making that customizing of the lace, taking it around the ear, give it more of a natural look. Then we'll be moving on to the next section. <laughs> Okay, so right here is this section. What I'm actually doing is checking and making sure that my lace is secured. Um, you probably see me taking my shears, pressing down the lace like I'm doing as such. That is my way of melting the lace. As you can see, the lace looks very natural. One of the good things about this particular brand of hair is they already come pre-plucked and the knots pre-bleached. So that's one good thing. That's one of the many good things that I love about this hair. But otherwise, we're go ahead and start sewing down the back portion of the frontal this is as soon as the glue has finished drying we're going to go ahead and sew that down never do this when you first lay down the lace first because it could cause slippage and could make the frontal start to slide so let it make make sure it's dried completely before you move on to this section
Okay, so right here you're gonna see the perfectionist part come out of me. I'm already checking the lace and giving it my approval. Once you see me make that face right there, everything is good. So that's, I'm such a perfectionist sometimes. It can kind of hurt me sometimes and I know I get on my client's nerves because I like things done right, especially if it's going to have my name on it. I do take pride in what I do. So right now I'm getting ready to add the first bundle, which is the 18 inch. We're going to use all of the 18 inch at the bottom and then we're going to work our way up to the next bundle, which is the 16, then add the 14. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm securing the lace, the very ends of it. You're going to see me do a double stitch. And you're going to also see me kind of pull when I sew it in. That is me securing the track. So that is how I secure and make sure that my sewings do hold and last. My sewings do have, have been tested. They have, been la they have lasted up to seven months. And that's without any type of damage to your hair. It's nothing but growth. So if they're taken care of properly, you know, get your your two to three week touch up then everything will be in place. You gotta always have a good foundation. It's just like a house. You have a bad foundation, the house is gonna crumble. Same thing with a sew in. So I'm just continuing to secure the track. And we are securing it, not tightening, because I don't sew it in tight to where you are in pain. You should be comfortable with your sewing. You shouldn't be in so much pain. So that's one thing that you should take away from this.
this company is actually a very good company, Rio. Um, I came across them, of course, at my local beauty supply store. They do have the hair in different textures and then also in 613. I've actually got opportunity to use their 613 and it takes the color very, very well. Um, whatever color that you're trying to get it to, it does go exactly to that color. Same thing with this hair. If I were to lighten this hair and add color to it, this hair is still has the luster it's still soft um it's it still does what it's supposed to do so this is a very 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 good top of the line hair this will always be my go-to hair whenever i need a good hair from a or you need like an emergency wig that i would excuse me a, an emergency unit that i would make for someone so this would always be my go-to hair it is worth every penny So right about now, we've already started adding in the 16-inch Egyptian Ocean bundle. We're going to add all the whole 16-inch in at this moment. So, of course, I'm back to securing my lace. Excuse me, securing my track. And I'm just going to continue to do so. Also, I am cutting the tracks. If you do see me doing that, it is preferred by the client to have her tracks cut. Um, it does give you a flatter install. I know some of you are probably saying, you know, you're, you're cutting the tracks or you, you actually can fold them. I do fold my tracks. It's really based on the customer's preference.
but if you really want a nice natural flatter install it is best to cut the tracks also if you're worried about shedding that's why they have the weft sealer i do use that also and that does a very good job at sealing the wefts so if you see me cutting the tracks don't have a heart attack trust me the hair is still going to come out just fine okay so now we're finishing up with the 16 inch we will be moving on to the 14 inch and um, I, I know you see just a small section on there i um, thinking that it's all not going to fit if we don't fit all of the 14 inch in that section we will take the rest of that hair and fill it in in between the tracks where there's missing gaps or spaces just to use all of the hair it is I always like to use all of the hair for the client um, the last thing you want is a bunch of pieces of hair just laying around even though it can be beneficial and you can combine those together to make another unit but some clients like all of the hair in especially if they paid a good price for it so I don't blame them on that part so I do try my best to get all of the hair in at once so they can have a nice full ponytail or nice full style that they're looking for So just look at this hair and just see how soft it is just by looking at it if it, it looks very soft because it is very soft hair and this is how the hair feels even after you color it or um, add a product to it it's very soft and I've used this hair for a couple of years now I can shampoo and condition it with the mouth shampoo and still comes out very soft afterwards and if it has like a particular texture pattern or a particular texture to it whenever you shampoo and condition it and deep condition it it comes right back to that texture so if i were to flat iron this right now and shampoo it it will come right back to this 
this ocean wave that it currently has. So very, very, very good hair. This is top of the line hair. It's 10A grade. They're telling the truth <laughs> about that. So very, very good hair. If you can't already tell, I am very tired. <laughs> so I'm just finishing up, just trying to hurry up and get done. Right now I am in hair mode when I don't say anything and I'm just steady going and going and going. Um, I'm tired, my face is greasy, my hair is not done, um, but my mom needed this done over. Um, she needed a new style, plus we were going to church the next day so I had to make sure her hair was taken care of and that I'm, I'm, I'm looking in the camera whenever I'm looking in the camera I'm making sure that it's still recording that it hasn't stopped on me I do have a ring light and the ring light does it does connect to my phone which is very neat that's how I'm able to record and have that nice light to show the softness of the hair um, so I was able to get that ring light only $16.99 for the ring light at Ross that was that was a very very good steal so i am into it right now as you can see just trying to get this finished and move on to the next so you all can see the completed style So we are finishing her up, closing her up and securing it. I think I'm still on the 16 inch, but I'm just making sure everything is flat, nice and neat. Make sure there's no lumps and bumps. 
So the next thing you're going to see is the finished product. All right, so this is the finished product. I did lay down the baby hairs using um, Nairobi foam, which is some of the best foam on earth. Um, it doesn't cause flakes. She's tired, y'all. <laughs> Please forgive her. She's very tired. I was telling her to move up closer to the camera because we're getting ready to reveal the frontal and the finished product, how neat it lays. I am going to do some up close with the camera so you can actually see. I'm actually cutting a slit in the paper, the black paper, and ripping it and tearing it off very easily. This is the fun part for me because just to see the end product and bam, look at there. That shine, it's soft, it's flat to the head, it looks very natural. I had to actually move her head for her because she was so tired. But yeah, we laid a few baby hairs to give it more of a natural look. Just a few, not too many. But yeah, we're getting ready to show it up close. Let's see, look there. You can't even tell where the lace is. Very good frontal, very good company when it comes to the frontals. Um, it's not much you have to really do to conceal the lace to make it look natural by them bleaching the knots and by them um, pre-plucking the lace they pluck it perfectly every time so that's it up close laid a few baby hairs um, we really didn't need the baby hairs but she wanted just a few of them it still gives it a very nice natural look so I'm really really excited about that portion I'm telling her to kind of look in the camera and she's like, she's lost right now. <laughs> she, she is saying, as she, as she just said, that I am tired. So I'm asking her to look at her hair, tell me how it looks. And when she does that right there, she loves her hair. The hair is very soft and that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification. Have a nice evening.